Hello everyone, sorry here, and today we are playing Cythria Matron, which isn't a new deck, it has existed before, uh, but we're bringing it back, I guess. Uh, so I uh, Sparkling Ice T shared this, uh, list, his list with me, and apparently he said it's meta breaking, it's a good deck, uh, so we tried it out, and it was, it was performing well, and when a deck performs well for me, I like to share it with you guys, maybe you can... Uh, perform well with it as well maybe you can climb with it uh so when i started with this deck i was i think 350 lp masters and we climbed to 500 something so we climbed we had a good win rate we had an 80 percent win rate and the meta right now doesn't really have good answers for this deck you struggle against field rush mostly uh or anything that has the ruination buried in ice you struggle against those these are hard it's winnable but it's hard but other decks you have a winning ch you, you're kind of good into them pretty much so the idea of this deck is you want to play your units obviously <laughs> you want to have broadwing you want to have laurent you want to have sergeant kindred is really good and uh Dalio is really good those are two units you wa kind of want to keep in your open hand kindred 100 percent Galio you want to keep him in your hand if you have anything for the early uh, stage i noticed turn six is a bit awkward you don't really have good plays so turn six is usually open pass most of the time and try to get to as much as you can to turn seven turn eight where you turn eight is pretty much your 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 turn this is where you pop off so how do you pop off on turn eight you play spectral matron on Cythria, Lady of the Cloud, which buffs up all your board. If you have a wide board, it buffs them up. Usually this works really well because Galio wants a lot of HP. And it helps level up Galio super fast if you do that. Uh, so this is pretty much the win condition. You have a really strong with high statted board. And you have a, a Matron that is a 12-12 with Fearsome. So if they don't have a blocker, and everything has challenger by the way, if they don't have a blocker and you can challenge everything away, this Matron can swing for 12 damage right to face. Uh, so yeah, it's a fun deck. It's a uh, mid rangey with a combo-ish style. And, uh, I still was running Withering Whale, but it, it, it was not it. Withering Whale was not it. It wasn't what the deck... Uh, like the deck wants to just focus on the combo he was running it for uh white boards maybe fizzlulu i guess uh but it wasn't really performing for me uh i felt it it was useless most of the time so i cut it out and i added stalking shadows just to have an additional way to find matron or cythria uh but yeah uh we'll take it to ladder and see how it goes without further ado here we go okay so we're against uh ecozillion which I'm not sure how this matchup will go. I, I know Kindred is good. We don't probably need Concerted. Valfis is nice because we can trigger Kindred's effect. Okay, not the best hand. Not the best hand. So we just pass here. Nothing really to do. I do have cheap blockers. Sergeant is not bad for a uh, for turn 3 play. Oof. That's unfortunate. It's a 3, yeah, we just need Matron now. Okay, I'll just pass here, nothing to do. So, I think we play this. And I'm down to swing. If he wants to block here, it will go on the zillion, right? Okay. That's fine. Hmm. He wants to damage it, I guess. Hmm. 
thing is he will kill it that's the problem here that is the problem here I should have probably played around the predict stuff I will take the pass maybe I can draw a sharp sight or something I can force this out, I guess. If I force it out, I can play this for life seal, right? Which is nice. Yeah. Uh Kind of a little bit early, but that's fine, I guess. So I'm I'm just scared this will level. That's pretty much it. But how I'll, how likely you will draw into both of them, right? This is kind of annoying, actually. It's a bit annoying. Okay, so we want to play Broadwing and try to pick this guy off. Oh, actually, this camp Laurent can pick it off, I guess. Laurent can pick it off. It plays an odd mystic shot as well. So now we're mainly just looking for uh, for one thing, which is we are looking for Matron. We need Matron, and we're kind of good. Uh, that's a bit of an annoying play. He wants it to die, which I don't want it to die. So if I do this doesn't die, it doesn't uh, get more stats, which is nice. And this can find me a Matron. I just don't have the mana to play it. Because next turn we want a Galio, right? We do want a Galio next turn. So they're down to 3 mana. They can't do much with 3 mana, right? Like if I jump a Galio here, he can't really do much. Interesting. So if I block like this, I don't see him killing it. Yeah. Maybe he's looking for Chrono Break, I guess. But like, even if he finds Chrono Break, it's not that great, because I still can't block it again. Might be looking for leveling up Zillion. Oh, if he levels up Zillion. No, it's fine. It's whatever. Leveled up Zillion is whatever. I guess we missed the level up on uh, on Galio, right? But I guess we don't really need... I guess we kind of need him leveled up. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have blocked, actually. But it's fine. Okay, that's a Chrono. That's fine-ish. I don't think he's gonna swing, but if he wants to swing, so be it. Yeah, like Big Bang Gal, you can block him. So what I can do this turn is just play for Demacia, and we buff everything up. Right, like, yeah, I like for the Masia here. And we have single combat, we have glimpse, we have answers, right? And hopefully we find Matron soon. Oh, right of negation is actually annoying, huh? Okay. So we, I could still kill this uh, Zillion, right? Uh, what we're scared of is another, uh, another Echo. That's what we're scared of. Okay, no more Echo mana. So I swing with these two. The more units I'm killing, it's good, because the less wide it is, the less threat it is. I am not leveling up Galio anymore, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm probably not gonna level up anytime soon. Unless we got Matron, then... Yeah, we can level him. But so far... I don't think we're leveling him. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually deny the card draw from my opponent. 
like this even though I'm losing 4 HP on this Galio but that's fine because we do have Sistria next turn even though we don't have Matron that's fine a bit annoying I think I should kill this since I can now no reason not to I think and they can't save it yeah yeah oh, we're good this is whatever next turn we buff everything up if we get matron it's very good right but even if we don't get him it's fine yeah that's fine we just place a three here now this board is a bit annoying for opponent It is a bit annoying for opponent. I could just pass, honestly. Like, I really don't need to swing. I'm scared he'll play an echo. Okay, so now I can swing. I don't know why he attacked. Oh, maybe he has Chrono Break, I guess. So I don't really want to swing with this. Just like this. Kill this. I guess they could have Chrono Break, right? So we don't really want to swing with everything. I could even pass here, I guess. I think passing is might be, might, might be better. Because if I swing and he has Chrono Break, he's gonna swing for a really strong attack. But when we level Galio, we're kinda happy. And if I get to play another Scythria... Uh, wrong, wrong order. Wrong order. Okay. Wrong order. So they want a chrono break, right? So I could just swing here. Like this. Push lethal damage before they can chrono break. Just a lethal. <laughs> yeah, GG's, GG's. Yeah, I think they forgot the order, but I don't think it mattered too much, right? I, I had single combat, I was gonna probably single combat it and do my blocks, so we, we, we were kinda good. Okay, so we're against uh, scouts, which is, uh, I think it's evenish maybe, if they don't get a lot of annoying stuff. But I can keep these, I'm tempted to keep also these, so this is fine, I like this hand. It's missing uh, Kindred, but it's okay, Broadwing is good, Broadwing is good. And we have Galio. Galio is very annoying for opponent, right? So it's their turn now. If they want to pass, so be it. That's not a pass. So we'll play the Broadwing, and I will most likely open attack. Even though they might have a misfortune, but like I don't want this to keep buffing stuff, right? So I, I want to kill it now, since I can. Yeah. So they could have misfortune here, which is fine-ish, not really. Okay, that's a misfortune. We play this. Uh, what I can do is I can try to kill misfortune with a concerted strike next turn. The problem is he can counter it with the ranger's resolve. So it might not be the best play. But we don't really have a turn four play. It's kind of not great. Uh. Yeah, so I think I want to wall feast this. If they have uh, something like an answer, it's fine, I guess. If they have rangers resolve, okay. So no rangers resolve so far. Uh, so we know there is no rangers resolve. If they develop one more, uh, this thing again, what's it called? Blinding us valor. If they develop another valor, I can go for the single. I can't go for the single right now because of this. So now I can go for the single. So we do this. I think is if I don't do this, he'll pick off this for free, right? It's not great. I think I have to. It's not it's not the best play. I don't like it too much, but it is what it is. 
because he still keeps this right which isn't great for me but i guess we, we trade ah oh, i guess he has another misfortune yeah this this play is telling me yo i have another misfortune by the way okay maybe not maybe not uh so down to open pass here oh no 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 i should have played that little wrong actually okay that's fine i guess not really but i think i should have played the little wrong immediately uh so Laurent picks off this so it doesn't keep buffing stuff right uh next turn they want to swing with this valor to kill this right then we can play uh this thing and yeah we have lifesteal we play galio ah shit i can't kill it so can't kill it i have to open pass here okay that's fine now we play uh we play this it makes it a bit annoying for them next turn do i want a galio that's the question it's either galio or we go for the concert and i think i like concerted more just kill misfortune pretty much or cythria i guess both of them are a bit annoying uh not cythria i meant uh quinn so yeah, I think I want to go for this sh Stalking Shadows, look for Cythria. Okay, that's fine. Go for Stalking. Okay, nice. That's not good for me, actually. Uh oh. the problem is this is about to level. So I think I'm down to open and see what they wanna do. But then again, I really wanna develop on the board. But then I can't kill this, right? And if he has rally, I I mean this is gonna level next turn actually. So maybe I should be killing it now. He has three more cards and that's it. I could take the pass here. But then I can't really do much, right? Yeah, I think it's a kill on this. But I could save it, that's the problem. The problem is he could save it. It's kinda bad for me. Ah, this this turn is actually kinda annoying. Especially if he has rally. I think I like playing Galio. I'll, I'll go for the Galio. If he does have Rally, I guess I can kill the Quinn, which is not bad. No, I can't actually kill the Quinn. Never mind. I can kill the Quinn. I can kill the Quinn. I have to do a block with the Cythria, right? Yeah, there it is. I have to block with the Cythria once. Like this. And what's gonna happen if he wants to attack with with this he'll pull this away right which is fine for me yeah like the galio, galio will kill her it forces a sharp sight out of them as well i can't attack with them as fortune because galio will kill it he could have a sharp sight i guess to save this uh, this uh, i keep calling her cythria but it's quinn so yeah he could have uh, something to save this quinn right which is a sharp side but we're kind of forcing most of their card out of their hand uh what they can do is play for demacia next turn i guess yeah okay so this is telling me yo i don't have a sharp side by the way or not i guess fortune is a bit annoying yeah so uh no no the word i'm looking for no sharp set 
So we can block with this because this is only one damage and it only takes two from this, which is fine for us. And we're healing back up. We're good. Next turn I can uh, concert to strike this thing, right? I don't think we go for the Cythria play. And if you want to go for Demacia, like I have my own for Demacia. It's fine. I'm very tempted just to play this Matron, honestly. Is it bad? Not really bad. It doubles everything, which isn't bad, I guess. Yeah, I kind of like it. Like, what does he do? Yeah, I like it. I really don't care about uh, for Demacia. Gives him only 3-3. Three, three. Not that scary. So what's gonna get pulled? This matron's gonna get pulled away. Fine. And I can block here, but he can counter it with sharp side. And I want this dead, right? So this is fine. And now we can't really attack a second time. Do we still level though? Oh, yeah, we do, we do still level. So I, I noticed that this helps level them up. Even if it's uh, ephemeral, like it still levels them up. So we're kind of good. Yeah, GG's. So once you play Matron, it's very hard for scouts to deal with it, right? And they have had a really good hand. They had the, the thing that buffs their units by 1 HP. They had 2 Misfortune, they had Quinn, they had Rally, they had Forge Marcia. Like they had the perfect, perfect time. And we had a good hand, to be fair. We had a really good hand. We just were missing a Kindred, I guess. But yeah, that was about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.